Our schools are among the safest places anywhere. Children are safer in school than they are at home, at the mall, riding their bike, or driving in a car. But as safe as our school buildings are, we've all heard reports of violent attacks in places that no one dreamed would ever be in danger. Places like Columbine, Newtown, and Franklin Regional. Troubled people sometimes lash out in violent ways. Sometimes there are warning signs, and sometimes they aren't noticed or taken seriously. The increased prevalence of guns in the home has made access to weapons much easier for children and youth. We need to be prepared for the worst to ensure students and staff members know how to protect themselves from harm. In the event that an individual enters your school with a weapon, your survival may depend on the plan you have developed and practiced far ahead of time. There are three things you can remember that can save a life. Run, hide, fight. Always remember, if you see something, say something. If you hear another student talking about attacking a classmate or having a weapon at school, report it. At the first sign that there is an armed intruder in your building, your initial response should be to get to a safe place. Secondly, you should alert others and call 911. I think there's been a school shooting. To get out of harm's way needs to be your number one priority. You then need to decide whether you will run, hide, or fight. If there is an escape path, you should attempt to evacuate. Students need to stay calm and move swiftly as they follow the teacher's instructions. Staff members should help students escape and prevent others from entering the area. Get out quickly, leaving personal belongings behind. The only exception is staff should take their cell phone and classroom go kit if possible. If evacuation is not possible, find a place to hide. Determine if the area you are in can be secured. Stay calm and remember, help is on the way. Students can help by keeping classmates calm and listening to staff members' instructions. Block doors by using furniture and other available items. Silence all electronic devices and be very still. Even though your first instinct may be to call home, your safety depends on keeping quiet. As a last resort, if your lives are at risk, fight. Adults should take the lead to protect students. Use anything that can be used as a weapon against your attacker. Chairs, hot coffee, fire extinguishers, books, and any other improvised weapon. Act aggressively and commit to your actions in order to disarm your attacker. When law enforcement arrives on the scene, their focus will be on apprehending the suspect. Once that has been accomplished, medical staff will then enter the building and treat any injuries. Be aware of your environment and consider all options for exiting to safety. Always have an evacuation plan that staff and students are capable of following. In an incident like this, victims are generally chosen randomly. The event is unpredictable and may unfold quickly. The first law enforcement on the scene are not there to evacuate or help the injured. They are well trained and are there to stop the attacker. When hearing of a school incident, the first impulse for parents is to immediately come to the school to find their child. This can put the parent in harm's way and interfere with the emergency response team. Parents should not call their student during an intruder incident. If the assailant is still loose in the building, 
A ringing phone could lead the assailant to students. Information for parents about the incident will be conveyed through ParentLink, the news media, the district's cable TV channel, and on the district's website. Parents will be notified as quickly as possible of the reunification site for their school. To make sure our schools are as safe as they possibly can be, we should all be aware and be prepared. If you see something, say something. Your actions can make all the difference for your safety and your survival. When dealing with an armed intruder, either at school or out in the public, there are three key things you need to remember to survive. Run, hide, fight. <laughs>